Hello guys, welcome to all. So we are gonna see about QTP tutorials and this is day one introduction. So before we get into QTP, what is testing? So testing is a process of assuring the quality of any products. As well as in software development life cycle, testing plays a major role by assuring that the product is defect free so nowadays you could see lot many websites so consider if you are doing some payment in any shopping website at the end of payment processing your application went down so what should happen either your, that money should get transferred to your account bank account or it should get processed successfully just think if nothing is happened so what will you do so that represents the quality of any product it may be any site okay so it can be anything so tester plays a major role in any software company that is why they are calling as uh, quality assurance team so next what is the difference between manual testing and automation testing so manual testing is a process of testing any application manually so automation testing is a process of eliminating the human efforts hence it saves times as well as cost so let me explain how it can be done using manual testing just launch your browser and uh, just open facebook site in page one you could see email edit box and password edit box and login button so when can be a user is able to log in this page using a valid username and a password okay so if user enters valid username and password but it is throwing some error saying that password is incorrect so which means that is a defect as well as if user enters some invalid mail and in enter some invalid password it should not logging into the application so it should throw some error so likewise what are the possible conditions may occur while user can log in into the application so a manual tester should think like an user so that he can cover all the possible and negative scenarios okay so this is how an application can be tested manually if it comes to automation testing starting from the launching a browser and then you know getting into a facebook page everything all scenarios should be coded in any programming language by using an ide integrated development environment okay so this is how automation testing eliminates the human efforts and it saves times as well as cost in a simpler example Man, the difference between manual and automation testing is like if it comes to manual testing it's like washing your clothes through your hand but if it comes to automation testing washing the clothes using a washing machine so you can put your clothes inside a washing machine and you can go and you can do some other tasks hence it saves your time so this is how we can differentiate manual testing and automation testing next when automation is needed so is it necessary to have automation to all the projects no it depends upon the projects say for example if your project is a long-term project then only you can propose for automation testing because say if your project is going to start on january and it is going to end by march so what is the difference of doing it in manually and you know in an automation way no there won't be any useful so if it is a long term project so automation experts can take some time to automate the scripts over an year so after some years they would be running those scripts so that in such a way that they can save some costs and so they can save some human efforts so only for long term project or when your project is big you can go for automation testing so this is about introduction of automation testing and coming to selection of tools so which tool can be selected 
and also before getting into this tutorial so you could have some doubts which tool should I study so which tool is the best tool so if you ask a question like which tool is a be best tool like QTP is the best or selenium is best or test complete is the best then that is a question asking like which fruit is best whether apple is best or orange is best so it doesn't make any sense isn't it so what I am trying to say is it depends upon the application what you are going to test so if it comes to both windows based application and web based application then you can choose quick test profession if it is only web application there won't be any windows based application then you can go for selling them. so if it is iOS applications or Android applications Android operating system testing then you can go for test complete okay so this is how a tool can be selected for a particular application so this is about introduction of our day one session and in our next tutorial we'll see the advantages of QTP and the process involved in QTP as well as the limitations in QTP thank you